There is good news, even in captivity. The, there was a day the captivity of Israel ended. The Lord delivered them from their captors. So the good news is that who, whatever or whoever is your captor, ca captor, there must be a deliverance. Sometimes you are also the person that have put yourself in, in that bondage. Some are under the captivity of alcohol, excessive alcohol, they are drunkards. Some are under the captivity of anger and they can kill. At w serious provocations, they, they can kill. So no matter, and these are captivities, some are in physical prisons, and those are the, bondage, the, the ones we can see with our physical eyes. But the ones we cannot see with our physical eyes, no matter what they are, the good news is that the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of the anointing, standing on the integrity of the word of God in the book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. So the pendulum of victory must swing to the favor of the people of God. Even no matter the captivity, no matter where it's coming from, predated, whatever, from the ancestors, be it your own fault. So far you have surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ and you are in, in interaction with him. He will locate you and tear down the gates of brass and the iron bars that have held you captive. So I declare unto the people of God and to as many uh, global populations that will be privilege to listen to this, that as you key into this message, I proclaim that there shall be freedom for the captives. We must come out of captivity because that's what the, spirit, uh, the, the Holy Scriptures have promised us. And the book of Psalm 68 verse 1 says, may the Lord arise and let his enemies be scattered. So whatever is the bondage, the Lord will arise and scatter the chains that hold us, the handcuffs, the leg cuffs, the things that limit us in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord did it for Israel. He did it for Jabez. And he will do it for any one of us as long as we keep lifting up holy hands, holding onto the horns of the altar and submitting unto his lordship. He will come get us out of every form of captivity. So we thank the Lord for its freedom to the captives. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen.